Now, grey skies and steady rain couldn't dampen Hollywood's spirits for the glitter of the Oscars. Hollywood celebrated the end of the three-month writer's strike with a gala award ceremony at the Kodak Theatre and capped the night by bestowing the award for best picture on a violent melodrama. And the Oscar goes to... No Country for Old Men. Scott Rudin, you can go and Joel Cohen producer. Now, the top award for a lead role by an actress went to the French star Mon Marion Mon Cotillard for her portrayal of Mon Edith Piaf in La Vie en Rose. And her counterpart was an odds-on favourite for Best Actor. And the Oscar goes to Daniel Day-Lewis in There Will Be Blood. Oscars for supporting roles went to a pair of bad guys. Javier Bardem played a fiendish executioner in No Country for Old Men and Tilda Swinton was the heartless and conniving attorney who tried to have George Clooney killed in Michael Clayton. The rodent-infested oh, Ratatouille was named the best animated feature of the year, and the Austrian entry entitled The Counterfeiters won for best foreign language film. Well, in a rare turn of events, all four of the top acting awards went to non-Americans. Not many of us can remember the last time that that happened. And for a closer look at the success of the European winners, we're joined now by Simon Astaire, who advises Hollywood celebrities on media matters. Actually, I said to Simon when he came here, why weren't you there last night? But uh, he had a tough call to make, didn't you? Yes, it was um, between the cup final yesterday and the Oscars, <laughs> and I chose Carling Cup final. Uh, and, and your team won. Fantastic. One. Congratulations. The Europeans won big time in Hollywood last night. Wh why do you think that is? I still think um, the Americans and the Academy are animated by the British. I mean, I don't want to belittle the performances, yeah. but even when I ask for a cappuccino, uh, they smile with a sort of reverence. I know. But um, Daniel Day Lewis's, let's start with him, his performance was extraordinary, supreme. I mean, I could watch it again and again and again. It was probably one of the great performances and will be looked upon in years to come as something extraordinarily special. Do, do you think when you look at the list of nominations for mm. Best actor, Actors that, that, that Daniel Day-Lewis's performance then stood out? He was always going to get that Oscar. I think, he would, close I, I, know, I think he would have won in most years. Yeah. And if you look at the history of Oscars, it will really be ranked as one of the greatest performances that modern cinema has witnessed. Yeah. What about Marion Cotillard? Well, that was a, there was no question that was a shock. I yeah. mean, the word on the street, as I was in Los Angeles, was that Julie Christie was going to pick it up for yeah. many different reasons, for, certainly for her performance, but you know, the romance of Julie Christie now coming back and everything else like that. What, what do you think that, that swayed the jury then on, on that one? I, I, I do. I think there's a sense of... First, it was the first foreign language winner yeah. ever recorded. So she spoke, you know, I mean, French and... Uh, that was rare for that to come through. Yeah. I think it was a sort of understanding and the breadth of the performance. Probably was the best performance of the year, actually. Yeah. So. Best picture for you, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty dark, brooding one, isn't it? Although, although there, there's some humour in it, no country for, for old yeah. men. The last 20 minutes I just loved, so yeah. you sort of you ended up feeling yeah. extremely happy about it. But um, I think that Daniel Day-Lewis and yeah. the movie well, would have got the, my vote. OK, but what, what about that? I mean, it's, it's a, a triumph for the, for the Coen brothers, isn't it? I yes. Mean, who, who, who've been making films since they, since they were kids. I mean, uh, 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 is it their best, though? Do you, I mean, you think it is, it's the one that got the, the Oscar? Um, Sometimes after... it's not your best no. wins the Oscar. I mean, I love Fargo. You know, Fargo, mm. for me, was an extraordinary movie. Mm. But it was deserved. And in the way that we were saying it was a European sort of hall for the actors, yeah. the Academy wanted to cheer the Cone brothers on, and they yeah. certainly did. So it's not that the, the Europeans perhaps are, are, are better actors, it's the, oh my gosh, you're English factor, is there? <laughs> Does that sound that's... a bit belittling? No, I, I, no, no, I, I think there's can... a sense of distance going yeah, on. Yeah. And there's a sense of us and them. I mean, the BAFTA, for instance, it works the other way. Yeah. When the BAFTA comes up, you know, Atonement wins Best Picture. Well, that, you, we can argue that, but um, they tend to be a bit more sort of patriotic yeah. and it's strange with the Academy they tend not to go for Johnny Depp and Sweeney Todd they yeah. tend to go for Daniel Day-Lewis or there's a sense of the European being that slightly out of reach and, and, and as far as the ceremony itself is concerned it coming so uh, soon after the the end of that that writer strike which hit Hollywood pretty hard didn't it? I mean what do you what did you make of it was it was it was a, a, a more muted affair yesterday there's no it? question I mean in the week that came that was running up to Sunday and I I was part of this sort of muted um, 
aspect that was there. Yeah. People didn't really know whether to re enjoy themselves. He said, all right, now the writers are back to work so we can be seen to have a good time. No, yeah. there was a sense of, let's just move into this slowly and drift into this world now. Hopefully back to normal next I'd, year. I'd like to think so. And, and when do you go back to LA? In two weeks. Right. Simon, it's always great to talk to you. And congratulations on yesterday's Carling Thank Cup you. win for, uh, for Tottenham Hotspur. For more, for more details uh, on the Oscars and all the other stories that we're covering here at CNN, 24 hours a day, all you have to do is go to our website, which you'll find at cnn.com international. There you'll find detailed reports, galleries, and access to tons.